Welcome back, everybody, to yet another episode of my Final Fantasy VII re Remake Integrate Let's Play series. I'm ShadowStyle91 here, and in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, we are picking up the action with the last episode left off, which was we went we went to drop off uh, Aerith to get ready for her audition slot with Mad Madam M. We did some uh, thing. We did some um, activities alongside um, Johnny. <laughs> And then we hit the arena for a special challenge for um, Chocobo Sam. And then we met up with Aerith outside Don Cornero's palace, who's informed us that uh, we've caught the attention of Andrea Rodea. So as uh, you can probably tell from the current video, everybody, Aerith is um, taking us to the Honeybee Inn to meet up with Andrea Rodea and find out how how and why exactly we caught the attention of uh, the third member of the trio you said you didn't want me going alone right well with andrea's help you can join really it'll be fun you think andrea rodea can get cloud in as the third audition slot it's pretty rare for andrea to take a personal interest okay then if andrea rodea can pull it off trust me this is gonna go for it you want to save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound uh, good? sure. But, uh, let's find out exactly what's going on. Let's go and talk to the person at the reception desk. Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed... That's very formal. Not used to that Please much. Make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. Interesting to see how this goes. So we've officially arrived at the Honeybee Inn. S oh, I'm sorry! Revert your eyes! Revert your eyes! What's going on? Yeah, we better turn around and keep on our way. <laughs> oh boy. Okay then. The man of the hour, chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. Well, no, no time like the present. Right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Uh, say that again. Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! Wait, hold on. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be one of these things. Alright, just so, just to give everybody a quick heads up, I'm gonna be turning off the commentary so I can stay focused, so I can keep track of uh, the button, the button, uh, what you call? The button, uh... <sighs> the button patterns, that was it. Just sit 
tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's flushing. It can be bitter, but we can make it all so sweet. Here at the honey bee, in every moment is a treat. Welcome to the Humvee Inn, Cloud. You seek my approval. I understand. But those who crave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Think you can follow my lead? Honey, I'm in love. Yes, 
Yes, I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! of the heart, a thing without shame, to which notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid of it. Okay, even I have to admit, that was a very impressive show, and kudos to Andrea Rodea, he pulled it off. It looks like we've uh, taken up the reins as an Aerith once again. Alright, there's Cloud. I'm getting the sense that he's not quite happy right now. Well then, um, Andrea's, Andrea's uh, endorsement has been uh, obtained. Let's go and head to Don, Con Don Corneo's palace. Also, if anybody does hear me hesitating, stuttering, struggling, and or botching any of my sentence pronunciations throughout any of my videos and all my live streams, ladies and gentlemen, like you saw me before I switched off my commentary to stay focused with the uh, button, the button, uh, what you call, the button patterns for the dancing. And of course, this switch. Uh, keep off the keep the commentary off during uh, the cutscenes as well. So here we are. We've officially reached Don Corneo's palace once again. Fingers crossed that these three at the door will actually let us in. Here you are. Letters from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? Okay. Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so. Come on. That sounds a bit ominous. All right, you cloud. No time like the present. Also, if anybody does in is enjoying what you start it start it again. Don't forget, if anybody does enjoy what they're watching, whether that be my content or my live streams, ladies and gentlemen, please do myself a favor. Please consider hitting the subscribe button down below, along with the bell, so you can stay up there with all. Stay up to date with all my content uploads and all whenever I go live with my live streams. I completely and utterly forgot how to uh, pronounce that sentence then. <sighs> Me and my old brain. Old man. Old man brain. Of course, every time you do hit the button, the subscribe button down below. You truly are a legendary individual, and it always helps my channel expand little by little every time you do hit the button down below. And it always, always helps push the video platform algorithm to help to help, promote my, help promote my content every time something new has been uploaded. What's that weird, sweet smell? And even though uh, YouTube right now are very corrupt, self-centered, arrogant pieces of shit. 
I will also leave the links for my other uh, for my other streaming channels in the video description as well, ladies and gentlemen. So make sure you check those out when you get the chance as well. Of course, if it, and also, if anybody has missed any other of my uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate videos, I will also leave the playlist link in the video description as well, down below. So make sure you check that out when you get the chance, if you want to catch up on any of the action that you might have missed, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this can only go one way. Hopefully, wherever they're going, that they'll find Tifa. So, oh, speak of the devil, there she is. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <sighs> you good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. Uh, no! Not until I've got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? I thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens okay, then, now? might as well explore this uh, room that they've been all been this dumped in whilst uh, they're waiting for the uh, call from Don Corneo. Oh, we got another music track. Obtained a bottle of turbo ether. Ugh. Even though that's where we got the music track from. Still spooky to look at that. To Head out the door to the left and up the stairs. Come on, ladies. Let's hustle. All right, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? Well, there's uh, nothing else for us to do. Might as well just to get head on upstairs and get that this over with. Well, here we are. Now, time to see who exactly Cornell okay, will select. Well, whoever he picks, hopefully they can get the information that they want from the Don himself. Hmm? Wait, you look kind of familiar. We haven't met before, have we? Mm -mm. Uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies? Uh. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. 
Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? <laughs> or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm going to enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the big bone girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah! yeah. We. Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all coming with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Oh, back off. Ooh! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests, and y'all huh? got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good name! Oh! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four yeah, guys between yeah, us. Yeah. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! Don't <laughs> 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 oh, you stupid! Good job, Eric. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Uh, thank you! Okay. Uh, looks like we have uh, taken up the reins as Aerith once again. So before we go and rescue Cloud from Corneo's clutches, let's go exploring a little bit. Let's see if there's any treasure for us to collect. Quite surprised that um, Andrea was actually disinformed about the situation. But I have been wondering, out of the trio, who exactly is the head honcho? Is it Madame M? It's definitely not Chuck about Sam. Or is it Andrea Rodea? I wonder. I bet my friend Maxi plays RPGs was uh, really looking forward to taking the reins as uh, Tifa. But like so. Best uh, user to kick the asses of these uh, corneal lackeys. Also, if uh, anybody hasn't check, checked out his channel yet, I highly recommend you definitely go check out that Maxi Plays RPGs. He is a good friend of mine, and his channel is uh, awesome to watch. So here we are. 
But first things first, let's double check, see if there's any uh, extra loot for us to collect. Oh, hang on. Oh, that's where they were being held hostage. So here we are. One more corridor before we get to uh, Corneo's room. Oh, I really want to punch you right in the uh, fucking teeth right about now, Corneo. Hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners. Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, your clothes. <gasps> <laughs> so you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right! I'll talk, I'll talk! <sighs> uh, some guy with a gun for an arm! I was paid to find him! Paid by who? I can't tell you that! They'd hunt me down like a dog! Well, you better. Cause if you don't, I'll rip them off! <laughs> it was the Director of Public Security! Heidegger! It was Heidegger! Shinra! And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know? See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash him. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out by targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7's gonna look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do! No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? Wait, there was a time limit on that question? You have got to be fucking kidding me. Oh! Time's up! The answer lies... ...in the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smell! Are we on schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President, I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Tuesty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it.
Damn it, Reeks. So now where the hell have they ended up? All right, let's wake them up and try and find out where the hell they landed. You don't have to tell me twice. I didn't want to drag Aerith into all this. She'll understand. How do you two know each other? I saved her. She saved me. Round and round it goes. And that's all there is to it. Sure there isn't something else. Is that a hint of jealousy I detect? You okay, Gareth? Uh, what the fuck is that? No, you gotta be kidding me. Huh. It's definitely as ugly as Corneo. And it's definitely hard to match that fugly mug of his. Oh, fuck. Did you go? You bet. Bring it on. Looks like we gotta kill this thing to move on to, move on to wherever the hell is that we moving on to next. On. Fucking hell, I ain't doing jack shit damage right about now. Want the assess move? What have we got? Its weakness is fire. Good to know. Take a Fiara move. I can't remember what material I equipped to Aerith and Tifa. Take another Fiara. You big ugly mother. Woody. Oh, you son of a bitch. Take another one. Staggered. I was wondering where the hell I equipped the other uh, fire material to. Mid-air pose. Oh, I equipped it to all three of them. Can't believe I forgot. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, fuck. Yep. I'm bringing in the big guns. Because if our spells are uh, locked out for now, we're going to need every bit of uh, muscle we can muster. And since if it's a fire type, all the better. Son of a bitch. Going to need a mega potion. Now do it. Fucking hell. Oh, jeez Louise. Let's switch it up. I can still fight. Make a potion, make a potion on Tifa. Somersault on the big son of a bitch. And I missed by a country mile. Gareth. Stay 
Why didn't I use that from the start? I don't know. Let him have it. Why not? Fucking hey. Probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tifa! What's going on with Tifa all of a sudden? I knew it. Wait. These tunnels are all connected. All right, I see nothing else in this area, but. Uh, Tifa might have a new plan for us, or a way to get out. Let's go find out what, shall we? These tunnels to make our way back to Sector Seven. Oh, that is very good to know. Sector Six and Seven should be connected. If you get in trouble, just follow the stench. Another one of those. Thanks for the tip. I think. Actually, we use them to move around the undercity. In emergencies. I appreciate the lesson. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'm bringing today's episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate to a close. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please do yourself a favor. Please consider hitting the subscribe button down below, along with the bell so you can receive notifications for when new content has been released onto my channel or whenever I go live with a live stream, everybody. So until next time, my fellow cluster of stars, I have been Shadowstar91. Stay safe out there. Take care, and I'll see you all next time for final for the next episode of Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, where hopefully we can make it make our way out of the sewer system. Bye bye. <laughs>